Hey guys, Derek here, and we're going to talk about getting off the couch today. Um, many of us sit around wishing we were doing something else, wishing that we were in shape, wishing we had the body of our dreams, wishing that we had good health, and a lot of times we don't do anything about it. We sit on the couch, we continue to gain weight, uh, we become lethargic, and we don't change. So I'm going to go through a few tips and a few pieces that may help you get started getting your butt off the couch and getting healthy, okay? So let's go through this, so hopefully it'll help you out. First thing we wanna do is we wanna set some goals, okay? You, you can't go anywhere if you don't know where you're going. So if you get in the car and you just drive, you're not gonna get anywhere specific. And with your goals, you really need to set your goal, make it specific, and there needs to be some points to go through to make sure that your goal is attainable, okay? So we set SMART goals, and you can set these for business, um, health and fitness, anything that you're doing that you have a goal or an end result that you want to achieve and you want to get there within a certain amount of time, okay? So, for example, you want to lose weight and you're setting your SMART goals and the first thing you want to set in a SMART goal is make it specific, the S. So you want to lose weight, great. That's not specific enough. You need to sit, sit down and figure out, I want to lose 30 pounds by Christmas. Okay, great, that's a specific goal. It needs to be measurable. So what are you trying to get to and can you measure it? So with the weight loss piece, yeah, you can measure it. Each week you're gonna need to lose so much weight to get to your 30 pounds by Christmas. Let's say Christmas was four months away. You need to lose 30 pounds. So let's make it simpler. Three months away, 30 pounds, 10 pounds a month. You're looking at 2.5 pounds a week is what if you break it right down and that's what you really need to do so when you make it measurable the M in SMART goals break it down into bite-sized chunks or else you get overwhelmed with the big picture it needs to be achievable that's the A in SMART don't make pie in the sky goals don't set a goal that is unachievable if you've never run a mile in your life don't go out and set a goal of running a triathlon uh, in a month okay it needs to be something that's achievable which also relates to the realistic piece, the R in SMART goal. So achievable and realistic kind of run hand in hand. And just like the first part, making it specific and measurable, it needs to be time bound. So again, if you're losing weight, don't just say, I want to lose 30 pounds. That's more specific than just saying, I want to lose weight, but it's not specific enough. Who cares if you want to lose 30 pounds? Lots of people want to do that. When do you want to do it by? That's what's important, okay? Make sure you track it. Make sure that you're on top of it and you're making constant progress, okay? That's how you set goals. Hope that makes sense. On to the next one. Keep records. So with these awesome goals that you're going to set, and we're talking about the fat loss piece, you might as well track everything because then you're going to be able to see the progress that you're making. That's going to motivate you. That's going to tell you when you're either doing things right or doing things wrong in getting to your goal, okay? It's like when you get on an airplane and the pilot flies wherever you're going, if they didn't check with Radio Terror, the ground crews, his co-pilot, all of their systems and navigation units, and just flew, they're not tracking anything, you'd never get to where you want to go, okay? So, some ways you can do that. Keep a food logger diary. I get my clients that bounce here to log their food four days over a weekend because you eat differently on the weekend normally than you do during the week. Create a log. Write down everything you eat. You're going to be shocked at what you see. Training log. Push yourself each training session. A great way to do that is if you did so many sets or you had so much rest time or you did so much weight in your training, push for more the next week. Reduce the rest sets. Do more sets. Um, increase the weight. Increase the intensity. Just different ways that you can continue to progress because the body adapts so quickly. Use apps for your portable devices. Uh, there's apps for everything nowadays and you can track almost anything okay and this is a great way to watch for your plateaus and make adjustments so if you're if you plateau for a week or two 
you've now hit a, hit a plateau. You're doing something that needs to be changed. Okay, you uh, either your your workout is stagnant, your nutrition is off. It's possible if you're training too much that you might need a rest, but that's highly unlikely. Okay, um, you need to be training a lot to need that rest to overtrain. Okay, but likely what's happened is your body's adapted to the workout that you're doing. You need to change it up, increase the intensity, change the exercises, increase the weight, change the rest periods, tempo, all kinds of different things you can do. Okay, on well, the next one, find a partner. This is awesome. While I have never had a training partner for a long period of time because nobody that I know or have met sticks to a training regimen like I do. I love this. This is what I do. I live it, breathe it, eat it. It's my passion. I have never found anybody that I can train with that has that same passion. You, on the other hand, may be able to find somebody that has the same passion and fire that you do, has the same similar goals. That's a great way to do it. Find somebody that has similar goals as you. This creates accountability. You have to be there because somebody else is going to be there. Hire a trainer, okay? Trainers, we get paid to kick your butt and doing it the right way with years of experience, lots of testimonials, before and afters. Find a trainer that knows what they're doing. Make sure that they've got lots of backup as far as what they've been able to do so far for other people. Don't just take their word for it because it doesn't matter what um, schooling they have and whatnot. It's more important to, as to what they've been able to do for others, okay? Social media updates, this is a great one. You know, if you're trying to get in shape for something or lose weight or run a marathon, whatever your goal is, use social media, put it up on Facebook, tweet it, and, and you're gonna find that people will support you and say, will come back to you and say, hey, how are you doing on that weight loss? Or how are you doing on your 5K training? Put it out there because that also makes you be accountable, hold you accountable for what your, your goal that you've set. Finally, make an investment. Okay, so there's a lot of ways you can do this. Hire a trainer. We're not cheap and uh, it costs a lot to train with us, but we get the job done. If you invest in us, you've got no choice unless you have a lot of money to throw away and blow, but to train and get results. Get a gym membership. You know, you're spending a couple hundred bucks a month on a gym membership, whatever it is now. I don't know. I haven't had a gym membership in a while. That's going to drive you. And join a boot camp, join different classes, something where you have to pay money to go, and that's going to create some accountability. Buy new cool workout clothes. There's nothing, nothing better than going and training at the gym, and you've got new, new kicks on, new shoes, cool outfit. If you look good, you feel good. And finally, a really, really good way to do this is make the investment in taking a trip somewhere. Heck, get married. That will drive you to lose weight. Um, but if you're going somewhere hot, chances are you're going to be on the beach. Chances are you're going to be, want to be comfortable. There's, it, it sucks going to the beach and not being comfortable in your skin. I've been there, not being in the shape that I want to be in on a, on, a, on a vacation, and it sucks. So use that as your motivator, okay? I hope these pieces make sense. Just a few tips to get you off the couch, get off your butt, get working. You know what? You only get one body. Get after it. All right? Talk to you guys soon. Take care.